啊，好多人说我们为什么这一次呢？一个多星期都还没有更新，主要是因为阿瑞生病了，病得还挺严重的。呃，但是呢，现在呢，他差不多已经好了。小豆腐马上就一岁了。今天呢，我打算跟阿瑞一起分享一下这整个一年，从小豆腐出生到现在他快一岁，我们的心路历程，还有我们的经历。CT。You grab a pillow, isn't that girly? Uh, <laughs> I feel insecure. <laughs> Alright, you be the girl this time. Well, I'm not a girl. Shut up, all. Your dad is a man, right? <laughs> a grab a pillow means I'm a girl. What? Hello, 大家好 So, Shut so, up is almost one year old. Wow. Wow. We can't believe it. I already. Yes. <laughs> I already had a good long cry in the shower the yes. other day, just Aww. processing that. You know, every month of his life leading up to a year is just gone. This whole year, he changed a lot. Oh yeah, it's been incredible, month by month, so different. There were some difficult times. <laughs> so we prepared some questions that we'll be discussing with you guys today. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Mama, you want to ask me what question? First question. Are you happy to be my son? <laughs> <laughs> Are you glad that you were born to us, Shadofu? <laughs> oh, I just realized his outfit is like a match of your color and my color together. Oh, He's a blend of us. He is. <laughs> okay, first question. What emotions did you experience when finding out that we were pregnant? Wow, what emotion? Shock. Shock. Even though you knew it was possible. <laughs> yeah, still shy. I actually really struggled with how my emotions turned out to actually be when I found out I was pregnant. Of course, there was excitement mixed in there and, and happiness, but it also was, I also was dealing with like a lot of anxiety and just kind of like fear in general. Yes. Uh, and so I remember being disappointed with how I responded to it because I wanted to only feel excited, if that makes sense. Yeah. Like I wanted to only feel happy, only feel excited, but in reality, I already was kind of realizing that life would be completely different after that point, and I think I was scared about how much change that meant. Definitely, I also have fear hmm. because I'm gonna become a dad. So my dad passed away 10 years ago. That was a very sad thing in my life. But I'm gonna embrace a new role in my life to be a dad. That was just a lot. It's, it's overwhelming. Yes. It's overwhelming. So honestly, throughout the whole pregnancy, I just had to pray a lot and work through the fears I still had about the change. All right, and becoming a mom, just to clarify, has actually been one of my longest dreams ever since I can remember. Very, very thankful you were possible, yes. All right, question two. Question two, baby, come back. What has question been the most two. difficult month in raising your son? Like, at what month of his age? Okay, definitely the first month. First month? Yes. His first and second month. I feel like both of those Second month for me was maybe even slightly harder because it was just continued sleep deprivation that by the second month I was getting really tired of not sleeping. You know, he was waking up every two to three hours to eat at night. When he was first born, I also had a lot of insomnia. I, I had a really hard time sleeping even when Jay would take him. It was really hard to fall asleep. So I was just working off of a lot of continued sleep deprivation by month two. The other month that came to mind though was the very last month we were in China, actually. Incredibly thankful for the daytimes we had there. The evenings, for the most part, were awful. <laughs> because there would be times where we would have to get up. Jay would walk Shaldofu around the hotel for like two, three hours at midnight. Very exhausting, because <laughs> he just wasn't tired. Alright, next question. Um, <laughs> is there less romance in the marriage after becoming parents? I don't think so. I think I think we've still had just as much romance. Like yeah. just as much 
loving to be with each other, loving to have our date times, but now usually Shango comes with us. Together. I feel like the, the romance part becomes more pressure. Oh, uh, sorry. The romance part becomes more precious. Precious. Um, yes. <laughs> Fresh, not pressure. <laughs> <laughs> because we spend so much time with each other. When we are free, we were uh, like, a, wow, we finally can't have time together. When Shadofu goes to bed and we just turn on a movie and we have our time together or we play a game together or, you know, just that time, you, you really value it. <laughs> yes, and we, when we were in China during Ari's uh, birthday, we had we, a date night. We he had, did a very nice French restaurant in China yes. date night for me. We had a very special date night. Yeah. I just want to say that there is hope and we are evidence that your marriage and your romance and your time together can actually be still wonderful and sweet after having a baby. So next question, what is the best part in daily life about having a kid? Wow. Every He is such sweet, shiny boy. Mm. He will smile to you every morning. Yeah. So that's just very happy. I feel like he's at a very sweet age. He's almost a year now. And I feel like this is such a sweet age of him starting to show that he also really loves you and will smile at you, wants to connect with you. <laughs> Right now, Shao Dofu will reach, he'll reach out to us. Jay, can you demonstrate? Shao Dofu! Shao Dofu now, he really likes to hold Dofu! Yeah, basically the best part in getting to have a kid is just knowing the kid, getting to love him. Yeah. So, last question, what Advice would you give to someone considering if they should have a kid or not? Uh. <laughs> this is a big question because so many people are thinking should I sacrifice my freedom mm -hmm. to have a kid? As long as you know that you're prepared to work hard and giving up a lot of sacrifices of your freedom, your time, your resources, your money. I think yeah. becoming a parent can really teach you hard work. It can teach you selfless love. So it takes a tremendous amount of sacrifice. Yeah. You're losing freedom. But I think that's incredibly valuable to know that this life is not just for what makes it easiest and happiest for me. But the goal should be, how can I become less selfish? How can I be giving? You can really give and pour out to the little human in your life. Yeah, that's true. To have the mindset that you're gonna sacrifice a lot to become less selfish is very important. Yeah. Overall, I think becoming a parent is one of the most mysterious, beautiful things that you can form two people together <laughs> and create your own human. We're probably gonna create a two or three or even four. <laughs> That's true. Uh, yeah, I enjoy the time with him. When Ari is not with me, spend time with my son is, is a very unique experience. You have this sense of, wow, that's my child. When you look at him, when he smiles at you, I'm always filled with these wow moments. Yeah. Of like, he's just so beautiful, he's just so sweet. He wants to grab the camera right now. No, no, no. No, baby. No, baby. Oh, we are having to teach Xiao Dofu no, and he doesn't like being told no. See? I have a question. What are you looking for to being a parent in the future? Well, for one thing, I'm really excited that Shao Dofu gets to be Chinese and American. Yep. So I'm excited to always bring him back and forth between both countries so he can figure out what his favorite Chinese food and American food, favorite holiday in both countries. So that would be cool. Yes. Like, I never have, I've never had cheese before 25 years <laughs> right. old. Shao Dofu has already tried some cheese right now. He loves Rana. cheese. <laughs> so, he will have totally different experience yeah. than my life and yeah. your life. And what's funny is I already think about if he'll get married someday that I will just be 
over the moon excited to like be at his wedding someday. So that's thinking really far in the future, but that's <laughs> whenever cool. I think about that, I get excited. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Yeah. You are too, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you excited, Shadow? What are you excited for in your future? Okay, no comment. Okay, well, thank you guys so much for listening to our little parent reflections Q and A for the last year. Uh, it's been an incredible life change, a huge life change. So yeah. we just wanted to share with you guys our thoughts about this. So. Yeah. Very soon, Shadow, we're gonna turn to one year old. Mm. If you guys wanted to send us some birthday message to him, you can just put it into the comments. Because you guys have really seen him grow up as well in the last year, which is pretty incredible. Yeah. So thank you so much for being with us. We'll see you next time. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.